but it hops out to Crane and a score. Off of a sloppy breakout. It was off the stick of a Pictou County defender and onto the stick of Trenton Crane. You see just a miscue on the breakout. Crane steps into it. And the leading points getter for the Summerside Caps last season. Rode up on him and he whistles that one high of the goal. Now another try. That one wouldn't fall for Eastman. His Caps really taking control. Another backhand to score. How about that for a start? The Caps and Crane get the last two goals. And it's going to be 2-1 for the Summerside Caps. We see here a bunch and a lot, actually, of beautiful chances for the Caps on this play. Crane with the inside pull, toe drag, walks around his man and is able to get that backhand and shovel it past. As Mikluski. Can't handle that puck. It gets handed off to Crane, to Voss now. Back to Crane with space, watch out. Down low, what a play! Reed Voss! Finishes it off as him and Trenton Crane get a little give and go. Back to Crane, steps like he's going into the inside, then throws it back down low. What a beauty of a play there. As you can see, fakes everybody. Satu shit photo. Hey, hey voilà devant le filet. C'est complété par Eastman. Yeah. En avantage numérique. Eastman, Blake. Perfect play, eh? Oh, oh yeah. Perfect play. Yeah. From number uh, nine. Crane, yeah. Penalty's over. Parker can't get the pass through. Squires sends it out. Three on one. Crane, looking shot, finds Howard on the far side. He one times it into the open cage. Irvine. Works his way around Sanchez. Pass across for Crane. Crane goes far side through Eastman and into the open cage. Jelly, not very big. We can still lay down some force as a shot comes on and they score. That one's chipped up and along now. Aura, first one back, he'll turn and fire one. It's gonna fall to Crane who walks in and he scores! Off of a bad turnover, Trenton Crane will pull the trigger. As we get a look of it here, just a bad turnover. He's gonna fire that one in the back of the net nine times out of 10. It would be unrealistic to expect them to score a goal in a three second long power play. Summerside's penalty kill to this point is 11th in the league. They've killed off just four of six. And there's a four on four goal scored by Jet McCollum. Durazio made the initial save, but the puck was just sitting on the blue line. Struggling here tonight. There's a chance and they score. Uh, uh, you know, if guys have... Now here's a chance shorthanded for Tristan Crane coming in alone, and he scores the hat trick goal. Nick Tritzi, one of the more physical players for the Wildcats. Plays a tough in your face brand of hockey. Oh, he pivots some bad luck there, hit the skate of the referee, lost the puck. Crane has it. There's a shot. In the net quickly. Tries to get rid of it the center. He does, but the Capsules pick it up. Here they come in over the line. Oh, the shot! And Crane drills it. Can't give Crane that opportunity. He had the head up. He was looking and found his spot. The Capitals lead it by a score of one to nothing. Sid McNeil behind his own net. Has Crane in full flight. Takes it on his skate to his stick. Around the defense. Steps in. has got man loose in front. They give it to Irvine. He scores. Oh, my. That was a pretty one. Irvine. Plays it across. Back for Ed McNeil. Irvine, middle point. Doesn't shoot. Feeds it off. Oh, what a shot. 
Crane drills it up over the short side shoulder of Carrier, and the Capitals tie it up by a score of one to one. What a shot from Crane. There it is. He just tees it up, bam! Here's the puck back to McNeil from Crane. Now here's Crane again. He looks to play it across, but... Mark Bouchard didn't have a stick ready. Now the puck comes in front. Open net! The Caps score! one nothing, Or their first one, rather, so 2-1. to one. In favor of Campbellton, as the Caps score on the power play to open up period number two to draw to within one. Going to the goal, number nine, Richard. As the Caps send it back out to center, in over the line comes Crane. He'll take the shot. He scores. Capitals tie it up. That Crane. Devant le filet pour oh. Marc Richard, c'est le but. On le voyait se positionner. Qui se met un jeu semblable, Gilles. Il est se positionner, ouais. gardez les seuls, il n'y a ouais. personne qui le guette. C'est un compteur de 33 buts. C'est le but qui va faire mal au, au bison. Buck down. Caps chase it down. Crane right into the slot. There's the shot, they score. Crane feeds it back for Ed McNeil. And the Capitals will go back into their own zone to get it. Here's McNeil, in, up on the right side. Crane, full flight, right side, cuts it in, scores! Crane, oh boy! He had some speed bringing it in on the right side and a beautiful shot, Caps lead 4-0. It'll be fun to get a good look at that one on the replay. Yeah, he just had too much speed. For the defenseman as he brought it in on the right wing. Finally gets a change. Yeah, 95 second shift, that's a long shift on a penalty kill. And now Crane coming up the right side with speed, finds some room over the shoulder of Julien for his second of the night. Kyle in after it, trying to spin out of the corner. Capitals, though, able to come up with it and nail, angle it to the boards. Here is the winger driving to the goal again. Caps bring it in. Scores! Oh, my! Ripping that one was Crane. Ed McNeil back for it now. As the puck is sent into Crane, he's in alone, and he scores! Crane! Il devait le bras pour, pour euh, appeler un hors-jeu et non pas une pénalité. Crane tente de remettre vers Kio. Le bon filet, le but! Oh ho! Oh! Matt Kio qui marque. Euh, Connor Kio par le. There was Ansons. Caps lead. Game possession. Irvine. Now for Crane, shot, scores! Ripped it, Trenton Crane. Third power play goal of the night. And the Caps regain a two goal lead. The second, uh, second leading scorer of the Maritime Hockey League. All kinds of room to walk in. You know he's gonna make you pay. And he does just that, what a shot. 